Okay, so what I'm going to do here is show you how to start a new OpNet project, have a look at where the files are stored on your computer, and then reopen the OpNet project after you've closed it down. So I'd like to start a project. I'm going to call this NP1, let's say next project 1, and the scenario that I'm going to build first will be less traffic. Now, I'll go through a simple procedure. I'll just have a, a, a logical network and here is my network domain upon which I can put some traffic generators. Now I'm going to put some basic traffic generators. I'm going to use Ethernet stations and I have two Ethernet stations located in my network connected together via um, 100 megabit per second capacity cable, 10 base T cable. Now I should choose some statistics and I should choose Ethernet delay. I can run the scenario, let's say for five minutes And that should give me the delay for the Ethernet. And what we can see here is we have some gaps. And those gaps indicate off time for our traffic generators. And when we have an on time, we have the ability to generate traffic, which means, of course, we can collect the statistics associated with that traffic. I'm going to duplicate this scenario. I'm going to call it, call it more traffic. And in this scenario, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of these workstations. I can do that by right-clicking on this workstation and selecting similar nodes. Or I can left-click on here, press Control, and left-click on here. Then if I right-click on one of them, edit their attributes, apply changes to both of the objects. You must always tick this if you want the changes to be applied to all of the objects you selected. And I'm then going to set the off-state time to be in constant of zero, which means there is no off time, which means we should pretty much be constantly generating traffic. I'll OK that. We can see down the bottom that we have two objects changed. I can then rerun my simulation. And what we should see here is sort of this, you know, we constantly have a value for our Ethernet delay because we have no off, off state time. So, I've now generated a project called NP1 with two scenarios. One scenario is called less traffic. And we have the object palette open here. And the other scenario is called more traffic. So let's close down this. I'll click save to save all of my changes. And let's have a look to find out where it's stored on our computer. So if I open up my computer, um, for me in my C directory, which is a directory where Windows is installed, and I have to go into Documents and Settings, and in there, for this particular user, I'm sat on a laptop, and my current user identity is laptop. So if I go into there, and I should have a folder in here called op underscore models. Now all of the models you generate are located in that directory. If I double click here, what we can see is I have my project file, mp1, I then have the files associated with both scenarios. So my file, which is project mp1 scenario less traffic and project mp1 scenario more traffic. So that is where my um, files associated with my project are located. And that's where all of the files associated with your project will be located. So I close that down. Now I want to reopen it. Remember that my project is called mp1. I go to open and we should have there it's already highlighted, NP1, I click OK, and that reopens the file that I was just working on.